uh, yeah, he, uh, he pointed at himself and he fired it and then he turned around and shot a bunch of cans just to show that after he was hit, he could still function. We've taken this ballistic recipe that we've developed, perform all the ballistics testing. These panels actually exceed the new requirements for the uh, outer tactical vest, vest, and work in conjunction with the vest. And I would put it on approximately uh, 75 to 80 percent of the soldiers die from flying debris. Um, if we can help to reduce the injuries associated with flying debris that occur to the arms and the legs, I mean, this is definitely a, a big, uh, big step in helping the soldier. And then we got some high energy absorbing uh, foam. You see them with it missing their arms and their legs, and to know that technology that you're working on could potentially help to uh, eliminate some of these loss of limbs. I mean, it's just. Yeah, it's definitely something I'm proud to be a part of. Well, apparently, like in, uh, I believe within the next uh, three to six months, we'll be ready to begin the field testing, get the feedback from the soldier, make any necessary changes uh, to the material, to the fit, uh, to the aesthetics of it, and start looking to actually uh, produce this stuff for use in Iraq. Idea of what the approach that they took and give us a little bit of inspiration.